I would not put any stock into what any Fed chairman says, because you always have to remember that these guys are there to tell a story and they always want to put a positive spin on everything. Not really. And I mean, even I, if they're I, concerned I I about something, they'll never admit it. Like when Ben Bernanke I think you have to be was at the Fed. Honest with yourself about about inflation uh, these days. There there are significant disinflationary pressures around the world, <laughs> and there have been for a while. It's and they persist today. It's is not to going to be easy to understand inflation. Is you look at the money supply um, because it's the money supply am, that is was uh, being inflated. I mean, literally, that's where the word comes from. Inflation is to expand. You inflate. Right? When something is inflated, it expands. It's money supply that expands. Right? When something is inflated, that expands. And we have the most expansionary monetary policy in U.S. history. Uh, and no other era is even close to what we're doing you know, we're, right now. We're honest with you that even with the very high level of accommodation that we're providing both through low rates and very high levels of asset Raise purchases, rates. It will take some time. You better because raise that's what we believe you the underlying shrink your uh, money inflation supply. dynamics are. You better stop are. financing all these stimulus bills. So in First order to, under zero, you, know, you better raise interest very, rates. Very, very high levels of asset purchases. Raise interest rates. It will take some time well, because you better that's raise what we believe rates. the underlying uh, inflation dynamics are in our economy. Dynamics so this are. is massive inflation. And so the right. Federal so, Reserve, <clears throat> not only don't they understand basic economics, they just don't even have any common sense.